Absolutely, um, the roadmap has been all about more. Um, we're going to more countries than we ever did as an independent company. We're attacking more verticals and even micro verticals. And there's just generally more resources for us to build the functionality that our customers want. On the international front, I mean, Oracle has presence in countries that we weren't even close to when we were an independent company. And so the ability to, you know, if we can get product there, they can get it to the customer and implement it. Um, that's a great opportunity for us. Yeah, I mean, there's so much great Oracle technology we can integrate with, and we're trying not to boil the ocean. Um, we've picked out a few to start with. Um, Oracle's planning and budgeting cloud service is a uh, really important functionality for our customers, and uh, so we're doing a, a deep integration there. Oracle has a uh, warehouse uh, management product uh, called Logfire, which is a good fit for our wholesale distribution company, so that's another area that we're integrating, and we're integrating with some of Oracle's Taleo Business Edition tools, uh, which are appropriate for the size market uh, that we attack and some of the areas of HCM that NetSuite doesn't cover. We um, had verticals that we were strong in and we're doubling down there and they are really complementary with, uh, with the verticals that um, other Oracle applications um, attack. So we're really doubling down on those and that's really about taking some broader vertical and industry functionality like retail and then narrowing to retail apparel, for example, and then narrowing even further down to that, for example, something like campus bookstores, which actually are driven largely by apparel, but have a, a specialized functionality um, for textbooks, for example. So we're taking um, and building industry-specific and vertical-specific additions even down to the micro-vertical level um, that build best practices for those types of companies. Well, some of our goals is continuing uh, you know, the investment that we've had since the acquisition in uh, countries. And so we're going to be expanding rapidly in Europe. We're going to be expanding rapidly in Asia. We're going to be building some of the sophisticated functionality that you need to go uh, to countries that present amazing opportunity, but also have a lot of challenges. Uh, India, Brazil, China. So those are you know, some of the most exciting things we're going to be seeing um, in 2018.